In this video, I'm going to show you how to bomb cover four out of gun tight. I'm also going to show you how to mess up match as well. Um, and I'm going to show you two different setups. The first one um, is a little bit, uh, again, it's a little bit more for cover four drop. The second one is going to be a match specific um, adjustment. So uh, if you're getting a lot of match when you're playing in gun tight, then you want to run the second variation. But if you're feeling like it's going to be more just cover for drop the first variation is really effective now uh, the play is drive corner this is out of the washington playbook if you guys want to get my full uh washington offensive ebook uh make sure you're in a patreon the patreon is only 10 bucks to sign up and it gets you access to all of our ebooks and all updates to those ebooks so any new updates that we come out with for gun tight or for bunch open tight end or bunch or adding new formations then you're going to get access to all of those things as well so drive corner this is one of the best plays you want to put your slot automatic or your best player here and uh, again the first setup is cover four drop so this setup right here where they base the line and press is very popular and this play stock will bomb it. So what you'll see here is this corner route. If I free form it, that was a bad free form. But if I free form that corner over the top, this will bomb a pressed quarter. So if they're pressing out of their cover four, then what you should see is this should get over the top. Now, um, I really like running gun tight with the running back to the short side because I want to maximize the space. Let me show you something. If I run the same exact setup to the left hash mark, I just wanted to go over how this works. So let's say we run this play over here. What you're going to notice is the press quarter is going to be able to bail back and be able to stop it. So you have to be on the right hash mark uh, to be able to bomb that specific uh, defense if they're just pressed like this and they're not baseline pressed I want to show you that you should have pretty good success as well so if they run cover four on you this is one of my favorite plays in the game for that which is the main counter to gun tight is essentially run a baseline and pressed cover four okay now how do we leverage this um, this play even further one way we can do that is we can slant Mike Evans and we can just motion him across. So we're going to have a slant in concept in the middle of the field that's going to force them to have to uh, keep their user in the middle, which is then going to allow us to kind of have a little bit more consistency bombing them over the top. So that's it. I mean, that's a very simple uh, setup. Now, I wanted to walk you through how this is not just good for um, cover four. So you'll see here, whoops, I made a mistake. Actually, good, I made the mistake. Um, what will happen sometimes with this receiver, you want to put him on a slant before you motion him across. If you don't, he's a tight end and you can't slant him. You can only drag him. So anyway, here is cover two sink. You'll see with cover two, um, you can still hit this corner. You, it's, it's a little harder, I will say, um, to hit this against you know other coverages. But you can free form and you want to, it's obviously a read, of course. But if you have leverage to the outside, you'll see here, I don't want to get shedded. Um, but you can free form that down and outside. It, it's almost like bench. You're going to try to flatten this out. And I'll try to show that as best as I can here. Um, hopefully I don't get screamed at in practice mode. Don't worry too much about the slant. That's kind of for something else. But anyways, you'll see here. Pass lead that hard to the left. And you see see how there's that little window that you can hit that in? So you have that against cover two is, is all I'm trying to say. Even if it's cloud, it, there's no zone drop in the game that can get that far back to play that. They have to third to stop it, which we'll show in just a second. So, you know, again here, you know, you're kind of just going to cut this off one-on-one. -on -one. The pass rush isn't going to cooperate with me. Uh, I'll show it to you one more time. Again, we'll we'll drop the, the slot corner so that we're not blitzing him. Another thing you could do with this is you could streak Mike Evans. Um, that's not a bad idea. It'll make it better against cover two. Um but again, just passing that hard to the outside, you see you can hit that against a deep half. Okay? 
Now, um, let's cover cover three. So cover three is probably the best counter to this concept. Um, but it's going to leave other things open. So you are going to have other stuff open. So anyways, uh, if you take a look here, this, this guy um, is going to cover the corner route. Now, if it's a baseline line and press third, I wanted to run you through that real briefly here. So let's say they baseline and press, but instead of cover four, um, it's cover three, right? So I just want to show you if that's the case, if they base a line and they press that outside third, um, we'll just show you what that looks like. So again, you have this little out route and he's still going to be able to get back on that. So the best way to really run a cover four, honestly, would be to have that outside quarter, turn that outside quarter on a wide side scenario turn that into an outside third. So if you're, you know, watching this from a defensive perspective, that's a great way to, um, you know, kind of learn a little bit about that. But the other thing that, but you have a lot of other stuff open here. Um, so if the corner route's not open, which is not your first read off the rip, you want to look to these flat routes. This out route to the left is one of the best routes in the game. It's very difficult to stop it. They're going to have to, um, they're going to have to play hard flats uh, to be able to stop this route. And then even that sometimes doesn't stop it. I'll show you here real quick. Um, you can highball this and kind of get it on the sideline like that. Um, you know, so just kind of experiment a little bit with that flat route. Uh, but, but again, a hard flat at cover three is going to do decent at stopping that. However, your slant in your middle of the field is going to be a little bit more open. So you'll see here that I can step up and hit that high ball to my tight end, or I can hit my slant coming across the field. Now, I, you know, if they're, if, if they're like showing you that it's obviously a cover three, this is not the best play. Cover three does a good job at stopping this, okay? Um, but last thing I want to show you, or two things, is man coverage and match coverage. But you have a slant flat concept against cover three. That's all I was trying to get at. Um, so you have your flats on both sides. They're going to have to hard flat to take those away. And then you could, in theory, have your, um, especially if they're blitzing you, you know, you should have a lot open. This slant is really primarily for man to man. So if you're getting man, um, this slant's really good. It's going to create a natural pick and rub for this guy. And this guy could potentially be a one play score. So if they're smart, what they'll do um, is they will typically manually back off whoever's guarding that guy because of that issue. If you're playing a good player, that's something that they'll probably do. And then from there, you're going to have this little speed out that could be there for you against man, or you're going to have this little rounded, um, this rounded in route, which they're going to have to basically choose. Am I going to guard the in route or am I going to guard the slant? So in that example, um, in that example, they're going to guard the, the slant that set up for you. You're running back too. Like if they're going to blitz you in man, they have to man up the running back. If they don't man up the running back, you can throw it to them, of course. Um, you know, but this route right there, uh, really nice little play for you. So that is man. Um, and then I wanted to give you one other thing real briefly uh, for match. So uh, I'm going to go to match here and we're going to put this on. Let me see, nickel, quarters. This play destroys match. So um, if you're getting match, this is just a standard quarters coverage. Don't, the motion kind of, the motion is going to change how the defense is going to play it. So if you motion across, it really can actually hurt you more than help you. And I'll show you why. So I'm going to motion him across just like I did before. Um... And they're showing, or in its match coverage. If you watch here, he can still cook, but it's not, um, it's not as clean. It's not as clean. Okay. Um, now, if you motion him over, let's say, and you streaked this receiver, let me show you what that looks like real quick. Uh, you're still going to get the same thing because the match coverage is going to change when you motion him over. So if you think that it's it's match coverage. Um, or they have a tendency to run match coverage, this variation to me is really good. Uh, just put this guy on a flat route and put this guy on a wheel. Then you're going to get this mismatch 
uh, on the corner, and you should be able to bomb match every single time. So this is one of my favorite plays for man match. Anytime cover four is in the picture, this is a incredible play to go to. Um, a lot of people in Madden 23, their their main counter when they see that you're going to be in a gun tight, like even if you even if you audible two gun tight from bunch, they'll have a cover four drop in their audibles, especially if they're a dollar player. And this play alone is, I think, really important to have in a gun tight set this year because you can easily bomb this as long as you run the corner route from the short side of the field to the wide side of the field and they're in a baseline and press or even if they're in a press. So that is drive corner, one of the best plays in the game this year. I want to thank you for watching the breakdown. If you want to learn more about this offense, make sure to get my Patreon. That'll get you all of my offensive ebooks, including the Washington Tight, the Washington Bunch, the Washington Bunch Open Tight End, as well as any updates to those ebooks that we will be releasing. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to join the Patreon, head down to the description below and click the link down below.